It's a beast. There it is. That's a beast. Another freaking hammer, dude. It's another small one. Well, it's that time. What time you ask? Time to catch some smallmouth bass, man. We absolutely love catching smallies. Whether it's in a reservoir, a small creek, or river, it does not matter. This is by far one of our favorite species to catch, period. So let's go. Here's fish. That's a, <laughs> we got a pike on the scale. Cool. First fish. Cool pike. Thank you. Sweet deal. I'm jerk bait. There he is. I think. It's a smallie though. It is a smallie. A little too small. It's funny when you when you catch a dink and, and, and like, you know, people want to say, oh, it's a fish, man. It's a fish. And it, it, like, no shit. It's a fish. I know that. I know it is. It's not a squirrel. It's a fish. I know I caught a fish, but like I, I didn't spend all this money on tackle and, and, and rods and this and that and, 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 and boats and whatever to, to catch a dink, dude. I can do that anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, look, any fisherman out there, man, it's like, you know, we, we don't remember the dinks. We don't. We don't. We don't remember them, man. I mean, I love that it's a fish. I love fish, and I'll take care of any fish I catch, whether it's big, small, it doesn't matter. But it's not memorable, man. Don't let us fool you, man. Like, we're, us fishermen are fragile, dude. We, we, are, we are fragile individuals, so we really are, man. It, it, it's, it's like, we try to play it cool sometimes, but like, when your buddy's like nailing them, dude, and like, you're sitting there and not catching anything, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then you get home, and then it's like, you know, you gotta talk to the, to the lady, and she's like, you didn't catch anything? And it's like, I mean, I didn't, you know, I caught a thing. And it's like, you know, and it hurts, man, it does, you know? We need, you know, and, and any, any, uh, wives out there girlfriends that are watching this man like the, the, you gotta like you gotta you know make us feel a little bit better man you got there's thanks man we, we're not out here to do that you know and and some days are better than others yes but like you know cheer us on a little bit man we pull up the big one you know to take us out to dinner you know it, like, like, a night on the town dude i got a pb today like i want the world to know this shit man out of here, you know, like, come on, you know, it's a big deal to us. Like, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of money we're spending on this. All right, so our first run went up the uh side of the cove here. Um, sunlit, you know, had sun beating down. Thought it may be a good time to throw a jerk bait, um, see if we can catch a couple. We did, you know, Adam got a nice pike. Uh, I managed a uh, smallmouth that was a dink. <sighs> um, 
and then after that, you know, we completed our run and we were like, all right, let's go to the flats. You know, we have three main flats that we like to fish on this particular body of water. Um, the first one being the longest run away. Um, you know, it comes out of a nice cove that's creek fed. And this whole flat is, is probably the biggest of all the flats that we like to fish. It's a pretty wide open area. Um, ranges of pretty much about eight foot is the majority of it. Um, and then it drops off to about 30 foot. It's kind of like a sheer shelf that just drops off into deeper water. And it pushes up a lot of bait on this particular flat. Um, and we always do well here, man. We always catch fish, always catch fish at this particular spot. Um, and, and fortunately enough, when we got there, we saw a lot of bait, saw some splashing, and we knew, hey, man, you know, all we got to do is figure out the right reaction bait. And bam, man, we got them. You know, and sure enough, we did. Um, which is sweet. And somebody managed to peep bait. I mean, I hope I wiped it, wiped, wiped it off. Oh, that was such a nice cast. That, I don't know how that came off so nice. There, there's one. That's a good one, too. That's a fish. Good shit, yeah, come on. I saw him chase it. Dude, that's good. Good fish. Good fish. Please. I got oh, it. Man. That's... <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. It's the biggest smallie. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught. And I've been wanting a nice smallie. I've been dreaming for a nice smallie. Dude, look at this thing, man. What a long. smallie, man. That is this thing long. is massive. Hold her up again. Ooh. Baby. What'd you catch it on? My own hand-tied chatterbait. Yeah, the old hand-tied chatterbait we've been slamming. We've been seeing a lot of bait around here. There you go. Ooh, nice. Real quick. Ooh, this one will be bigger than I thought it was, dude. No! Oh, lost it. I, I can't. It. That was on me. That was on me. I'm going to travel with this one. I'm going There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Move the net. Move the net. It's a beast. That's a beast. No. -uh. Boom. This guy would be smaller today, dude. Holy shikes. That's a baddie, man. Dude's on fire. Yeah, man. Beautiful fish. Another two, two and a half pound smallie. over there and I'll get all this confidence in the next time I come out and huh. oh, I'm on baby. Smallies. What the fuck is going on, dude? What in the hell? 
We cracked the code on the smallmouth, <laughs> dude. That's insane. Slinging these hand-tied white chatters all day, every day. <laughs> that just seems to be the ticket, dude. Hand-tied white chatter. So yeah, we're we're smacking smallies. Get the recording. Sweet man, smallie number three, four. Technically, I caught a little baby when to start, but another solid. Probably two pound fish. <laughs> Went off, man. Shore lines. <laughs> Well, we cast it around for another hour with no luck, so we're gonna head on over to the brush pile and catch ourselves some slabs, man. We got about an hour to fish, so we're gonna get inside the brush pile and see if we can catch a couple to round off the day, man. But what a day. What an absolute day, man, because Adam caught a PB, and that is all that matters, man. I mean, that was truly a special fish, and for somebody that's been clamoring to try to catch a big smallie man I, I am just over the moon that he nailed his pb on this trip man. and nothing can even come close to that you know so we're gonna wind down we're gonna break out the ultralights catch a couple slabs and we're gonna head on home man but we had a heck of a trip and we're looking forward to coming back out here shortly there you go oh good great Oh, well, we had to get a couple slabs before we head out, right? All in all, it was a pretty successful day. <clears throat> get out of here, boy. But, um, yeah. Let me get a couple more crappy. Had to cap off the day with a couple crappy. Beautiful. Yeah, same spot as last time. All right, man, we had a pretty solid trip. What this guy did, dude, dude. Again? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, he's killing it right now. He's killing it. He is killing it. Um, Yeah, man, we got a total of four smallmouth. Um, I caught a dink. He caught two hammers. I caught one hammer myself. Uh, we got on a couple crappy real quick towards the end there just to catch a couple more fish. We did catch, what, like, I missed the largemouth on the crankbait. You got another one on the, uh, the Ned rig, and then, um, I think I was about it, man. So, yeah, we did catch a couple fish, man. The unfortunate thing about today, and it just keeps happening when we're out here, it's like, dude, we keep getting these, like, 90-degree days, man. Like, these super hot days, and it warms up the water, and things change just like that, man. Like, right off the bat, a couple fish on the jerk bait, and then it just, like, nothing, dude. And so we had to change up through some chatters, man. We found a bunch of suspended bait, and, and we got very fortunate to catch some really big smallmouth, which this reservoir is known for along with a lot of other things like pike and super big musky that we may target very soon. See ya. So we lose fish still? When we lose a fish? I mean, don't let us fool you with that either. You know, don't, we try to play it cool, man. We do, like, we're like, oh, nah, man, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm all right, man, tears are coming down. Like, you know, what's wrong, bud? Nah, it's windy out here, man. Like, <laughs> the wind ain't blowing, it's just, it's stale, man. <laughs> the water's glass, you know, we're just trying to cover the tears, man. It just, that's how it is, man. It's how it always will be, man. We're emotional, but we love fishing, and we love fish. And we like to take care of our fish, by the way. You know, even if it's small, even if it is a dink. All you dinks out there, we will take care of you too, okay? But we are trying to catch some big fish once in a while, please. 